Good morning guys um this is gonna be quick i'm sorry i have my morning face on it's seven o'clock in the morning and i am documenting my whole day one of keto for you guys so um today will be the first day i had keto i just weighed myself so i'll insert that clip right here Two hundred and thirteen pounds. Normally, I weigh in at two twelve. That two twelve has been my highest, but the past two days it was like my birthday celebration, and I, you know, I couldn't. I, I drank. I not like a crazy drink. Like at dinner, I had a drink. Um, I had chicken one day. The day before, I had steak and ribs. So I did eat a lot the past two days. So and then I'm probably bloated. Things of that nature, um, which I'm not worried about because it probably come off in the first. Um, the first week of keto with the water weight and stuff um so and I had my camera in my hand so I probably waited but anyway that's officially my weight 213 that I'm starting with and this mo this morning right now I'm going to drink a oh, four cups of water because during keto you're supposed to stay hydrated so I'm drinking four cups of water I'm gonna try to drink it all as soon as pot like now um if i don't feel up for it i will drink it within the hour um secondly last night like really late last night i came across a netflix documentary called magic pill i believe it's supportive of the keto diet and whenever i do things like this like being vegetarian or being vegan i love to support this with documentaries because it it instills certain, you know, scientific evidence in my head and it makes me more motivated. So I'm probably not acting as motivated right now because I just woke up, but I'm super excited. And today's, I know today probably won't be easy. Tomorrow is not going to be easy, but I know once I'm in ketosis, it's going to be so much better. So um, if you guys are on a keto journey, please um, subscribe to this channel. Even if you're not, if you... If, if you're thinking about it, just subscribe to this channel and let me know that you're on a keto journey as well. And I'll make sure I subscribe back to you guys if you guys have a channel. And yeah, so I'm going to drink up, watch the documentary, and I'll see you guys at breakfast time. So excited. So... The magic pill, doctors, farmers, chefs, and other weigh-in on the controversial ketogenic diet and its potential to eradicate common illnesses. Here we go. Funny, it kind of just hit me now, guys. Um, I made Savannah, um, which is my daughter, um, apple and blueberry little, like, I guess fruit salad. She loves eating like fruit salads and stuff like that. So I was, I usually, when I make her hers, I usually like eat them as I like make it. Like, ah, oh, let me take a bite. Then I realized I can't eat apples, but I could, I could eat this. So, so it's about nine ten, and. I was halfway through the documentary when I realized um, my stomach is growling, so I'm getting pretty hungry. So, what I'm going to do is, as of this very second, because I'm hungry right now, like that was like literally zero to 100. I was not hungry at all, and then I was starving. So, I'm going to make this green tea, and I use lemon, and it makes it sweet, and it tastes really good. I believe I can have them. Yeah. I just have to actually measure it because I'm I'm measuring my food this week. So I'm gonna eat that now because I can I can like eat you know consume that this very second. 
And while I'm drinking that, I figured I can start making my breakfast. Actually, so also I'm gonna be having a tablespoon of coconut oil straight out the jar. I'm not caring because this won't be the first time I ate this out the jar. Maybe like two years ago, I used to do that on a daily basis because this nutritionist that I, I read, um, I read her book. It was a freaking great book, by the way. It's called Skinny Chicks Eat Real Food. And it changed like the way I viewed food. So, um, yeah, so I used to eat this every day. So I'm gonna just take a, a tablespoon and like a little bit of like one fourth cup of water and just take that back. So, getting that fat up. If you're gonna drink this coconut oil straight shooter like me, you have to make sure you use hot, like like hot water because, well not hot hot, but hot enough because if not, it's gonna be all clumpy. You want it nice and smooth. And then I'm only, I'm gonna do two cups of green tea, but with one um, bag. I decided, I just boiled 12 ounces of water and then I'm gonna put in four ounces of cold water so it could be like warm and I can drink it now and that just fell in whatevs so yeah you want to see me take the shot yeah I'll show you so FYI I'm not a big fan of coconut oil the, uh, well the taste of it I like the health benefits so cheers Pretty decent. Okay, so let's make breakfast. All right, so everything is rocking and rolling right now. So it's so funny. I try to be all cute. And look, this is like a total fail, but I'm going to keep doing it just so this can be like an on the go kind of snack egg thing. They're too small. Like, I'm like, I don't know what's going on there. And then, so for breakfast today, I'm just, I'm making, um, I guess it's, uh, Two and a half eggs, green onion, and spinach. And I'm making four pieces of bacon. I plan on giving one to my daughter. If she wants it, if not, I'll eat it. And yeah. This is how the final product came out. Remember green onions, we got spinach, two and a half eggs. And then we have three pieces of bacon. Apparently I love bacon so I couldn't I couldn't wait. I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast and I'll see you guys in a bit. So I know obviously I'm not in ketosis, but I I bought these test strips. Let's see if you can see it. From Amazon. They were about I think like actually my boyfriend bought them, so I don't know how much they cost. But I think they're like ten dollars, something like that. And it's like three months supply essentially if you do one every day. It comes 150. But so anyway, I know obviously I'm at ketosis, but I was just gonna do it for you guys. So if there's any people out there saying, oh, maybe she did this before or whatever, I just wanna show you guys that I'm not in ketosis. And yeah, so let's gonna see. So obviously I'm negative. It's gonna be exciting to get into the positive. I believe it takes about two days. I, they say that everybody's different, but generally two days to, go, to get into ketosis. So I'm actually excited. I can't wait till I get there. So stay tuned. I should be working, oh. <laughs> I should be working out soon. So I'll show you guys that. I may just do that after lunch. I'm not sure. While I have a second to tell you guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do so. Mainly, I do like family vlog type videos with my daughter, but I'm doing this new keto series. So for either one, if you like vlogs or you like keto talk, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that thumbs up button. So yeah, on to the next thing. Here we have lunch. I meant, oh, actually before this, I have one tablespoon of peanut butter because while I was cooking, I think that's my problem. Let me just show it to you guys. So I think that's like a problem I have. I wait till I'm hungry to start cooking and then it takes a while to cook and clean. So I'm like cooking and I'm hungry. So I usually eat a snack. I noticed I did that for breakfast. I did that for lunch, but it's okay. I added it into my 
um, my macro calculator and I'm, I made sure it fit. And, but here we have my lunch. This is a um, ground turkey, so pretty much a turkey burger with onions, like 20 grams of onions and avocado. Cause I'm like behind on fat. So for lunch, I really wanted to make it fat. I also made this in a tablespoon of coconut oil just to make it more fattening. And I'm gonna eat it like this. So the lettuce is supposed to be the bread. And guys, my boyfriend just came up with a brilliant idea. I said I wanted to eat like like 60 grams of strawberries. So I measured it out on my calculator. I mean, I measured it out on my food scale and it was literally two strawberries. So he had this brilliant idea to chop them up into little pieces. So now it feels like I'm eating a bunch, which these are only two strawberries. So this is going to be my lunch. I'm going to eat it like that. And yeah, looks filling and exciting. Look at the color, Ray. All right, guys. Oh, one more thing. I guess while, like, after I digested my breakfast, maybe like two hours after that, I started feeling a little like out of it like a little tired but I just think it was because you know my my blood my blood sugar is probably like dropping because I'm I don't have as much glucose in my blood but as of now when I had the peanut butter while I was cooking I felt totally fine I feel fine now I don't feel out of it so so I'm sure when I eat this I'm gonna feel great and probably two hours after I'm probably gonna feel a little lethargic I'll let you guys know and yeah, this is pretty a chill day at home, so I'm probably looking a little crazy, but I'm I'm home. I'm just chilling. I may take a walk today, but yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next meal. Hey guys, I'm back again. I'm always by this window because it's the best light in my house. But I just want to give you guys an update. It's 5:30 right now, and uh, see the thing is, is I feel like I'm not sure if this is psychological. Because I did so much research and I knew what was going to happen. So now I, I, I do feel tired. And I feel like I'm I'm kind of craving something. And the funny part is, is like I'm not hungry. I just ate that big burger and strawberries about not even an hour ago. So now it's like I'm thinking like, should I get a scoop of peanut butter? Like a tablespoon? But I already had two tablespoons. So that will be three. That will be a lot of fat. Um... And if I was to eat that, I would have to probably take away a snack that I'm, I would have later. So I'm thinking about it. Um, the funny part is, and I told him, and how I know it's a craving is because I was like, oh, like if I'm hungry, I'll just drink water. And when I drank the water, I felt full. So it's like, I don't want water, I'm full. I just kind of want something in my mouth, I guess. Also, um, I'm feeling a little tired. As you can see, if maybe my um, my energy level is probably down. If you know when compared to what you saw this morning, and and secondly or thirdly, I have a migraine, and I kind of knew that I would have symptoms of the keto flu. Wait, if you guys don't know what the keto flu is, it's essentially these. It's kind of like these detox side effects that people get. It can be migraines. It can be, um, I forget the side effects exactly. I guess just Google keto flu and I'm sure the side effects will pop up. But for me, I think the only thing is I'm just low on energy right now. And I think, um, no, I know. And I have a headache, a migraine. And I have it like right here. So it could be my... Well, also, I'm using the bathroom a lot. I peed, like, so many times. I know this is CMI. I peed so many times, and that's probably the water weight that's coming out. But, um, i also been drinking a lot of water. I think I'm up to, like, 16 cups. I think I'm up to, like, 16 cups of water. So, I... You know, when I spoke to my boyfriend about it, he says it's probably dehydration because your body's letting go of all that water from the carbs you're used to eating. So I'm not sure why I'm getting the migraine. But anyway, I just wanted to check in because I noticed all day, like, I've been letting you guys know, like, what I'm eating and that's it. And I kind of wanted this to be, like, a whole day thing. I'm really not doing anything today. Like, it's about to rain, actually, outside now. And I'm just... 
working on my YouTube channel, working on the baby's YouTube channel. That's that was earlier, and I watched the Netflix documentary. And then after that, um, I was working on our channel. Then I made something to eat, and then now I'm laying down watching YouTube. So even though I still got videos to edit and comments to respond to on for my daughter's channel, so. I'm just saying, I wish I could show you like a full day. I'm like, oh, what I'm doing? Oh, I'm at the park. I'm, I didn't do anything today. I'm literally just in my computer. But um, needless to say, you know, if you guys are on this journey as well, or you're thinking about doing it, I'm sure the benefits will outweigh this short-term detox period. So, so with that being said, um, I'm pretty much, I kind of messed up because of those peanut butter scoops that I did not initially put in my meal plan so now I have to sacrifice something so I'm full right now like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys but again I I want something in my in my mouth it's weird so I cut up I, I think this is like 150 grams of cucumbers nice and simple I was gonna have pepperoni <gasps> oh you got it I was gonna have pepperoni with it, but then I would've went over my calories. So, I'm just gonna eat that with the rest of my water. And I believe after this, I believe it's a gallon or a little over a gallon. I'm not counting, maybe hold on mommy. I'm not counting exactly how much water. I just know I wanted to try to drink at least three or four of those a day. I believe this is the fourth one, if, you, if I had to guess. So, for dinner, I just took out the meat. It's just one chicken breast, and I'm gonna have to have tomatoes with those instead of the cauliflower rice because I really don't have enough calories to mingle and, and shingle around. So, I'll probably do the cauliflower rice tomorrow. I'm just gonna just have this until later, and then I'll have the chicken and tomatoes, and that would be my dinner. But I wanna show you guys. So this is my, I guess, 7.30 snack and the rest of this water. Even though I don't feel full. I don't feel hungry, but I want to eat, so. Yeah. Oh, by the way, you see how I diced it? It was my same philosophy. Mommy. Hold on, baby. I'm coming. So dicing it like this, it's the same thing about like the strawberries. I feel like I'm eating more. And I'm a muncher. I like to munch, so look, like, you see munch. I like to do like sticks. I really don't like slices unless I want like chips. Then I'll make them into small slices. I like the cubes. I'm okay with the cubes. It's kind of like eating popcorn. Or the corn. In the pot. But, okay. Let me enjoy my snack. Hey guys, like I swear I'm delusional right now because I was just gonna tell you good morning. Um. First of all, I'm in the bathroom because this is the only room in the house that has like really bright white light. Every other room in the house will make me look like really orange and it's so hard for me to edit that out in post edit. So I'm just gonna sit here. I got the cute little shower curtain. Anyway, I'm going to get ready to make my chicken. I'm gonna get ready to make my chicken. I don't know if I explained that to you guys yet, but I messed up by eating too much peanut butter, so I have to, I have to like compensate with my dinner. So I'm going to eat, you know, not what I, not, I'm not eating cauliflower rice. I'm going to make chicken and, um, I forget. I have to look at my list. Like guys, this is kind of weird because it's like, I'm so out of it right now. Like I'm, I've been out of it since like this afternoon and it's crazy how fast this happened like i feel foggy i feel out of it i'm a little like cranky short-tempered right now and i like especially when it comes to my daughter i usually have very um i, I usually ha i usually have a lot of patience when it comes to her but right now like she's just getting under my skin but i know it's not her because i normally don't snap at her like that you know so I, I do think that my glycogen stores are getting depleted because like I have a migraine. I feel tired. I feel foggy. I'm just so out of it and I have cravings. So 
I'm kind of forcing myself to eat this chicken right now because I'm not hungry. Like, my belly is not hungry. But I know I need to eat that chicken to get um my calories in, my fat, protein, all that good stuff. I'm probably blinking really slow. Like, I swear, I was talking about the way I feel to my boyfriend. And he was like, he's like, Yo, you sound like you're a sh like, like a, like a drug addict. I'm like, exactly. I'm like, I feel like I'm going through withdrawals right now. But I was watching on YouTube, like people's like first days. And it's so funny because the first, like when they pick up the camera, the first thing and I was like, hey guys, good morning. Everybody's so freaking happy. And then like the second clip, just like mine is all like dying. But anywho, I'm keeping this up. I asked my boyfriend to buy me smart water because it has electrolytes in it. I don't want to drink Pedialyte or Propel or Gatorade. Like, I don't want to drink anything like that. So it's either I drink the electrolyte water or I'm just going to have to um, man this out. Man, you know, I mean. But, yeah. So I'm going to show you guys. Actually, I'm going to show you guys my food. I'm going to make it right now. here we go final meal of the day so this is definitely the struggle dinner because what happened was so what happened was is i was supposed to have cauliflower rice with this grilled chicken and then i decided to eat three tablespoons of peanut butter today so what that happened is this is the only amount of carbs i have left so then with the grilled chicken I'm going to tell you how this bacon came on this plate. Because the grilled chicken was way smaller than what I thought. So, I was like, I can't just eat that and that I'll starve. So, I had some fat and some protein. I think I went over my protein. But, anyway, I was like, let me just make three pieces of bacon. So, at least I'm full. Yes, baby? More. Really more what? More. Here, how about some bacon? So, that's going to be the last meal of my day. Oh. <sighs> Day one is complete. I really can't wait till the first week is complete because then all the keto flu symptoms are going to be gone. I'm going to take a quick shower and then I'm just going to go lay down. It's probably like 11 o'clock now. Sorry, that's my daughter. So anyway, if you guys are on a keto journey, just keep it up. Stay strong. If you're thinking about doing it, do it. Because I know... I, I never heard one person say keto was horrible. Like, I never did. Don't touch that anymore. So, I'm just saying, if you are watching this because you're thinking about it or you're doing it, just stay strong, keep doing it. If you want to follow my journey, you can follow me on Instagram. I probably post more frequently there. It's pretty much the same name as my channel. It's free. costs you zero dollars. So, anyway, I just need to get in the shower. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Girl, girl.